All right, uh, so I've got some uh, styles for OS 3.3 beta. Um, so these are to test out, uh, you know, and also see what the, the new effects are possible. Um, so uh, this one is just set to be red, but then because there's no color change to find in the preset, you'll have access to the color wheel, which I'll show. Um, and then I also stuffed a bunch of uh, transition effects in here. So there's uh, transition effects basically you can apply to a lot of different things, and it lets you do kind of uh, different um you know, go from one effect to the other along with some kind of an effect in between, almost like an animation. Um, so, uh, just to kind of show some of what's possible, there's there's just so much possibility and so many different transitions to play around with, uh, but this is just kind of a starting point. Um, so, on these styles, there's going to be uh, a transition on ignition, so it's similar to OnSpark, um, so there's that. Uh, for power-up, then when you retract, there's a transition on cooldown, which is similar to OffSpark that we have in the fork. Um, but using transitions. Uh, there's also a stab effect that uses a transition of a wipe in and then a fade out. Um, and then on both lockup and drag, I added a transition before and a transition after. So on lockup, there's a transition in, which is a full blade clash, uh, localized lockup, and then a cooldown effect. And then drag, there's a tip flash, um, the drag effect, and then there's also a fade out on the, the drag. So instead of it just ending, there's actually a fade effect. Um, so this has uh, all of those built in. Um, so here it is. So on power up. So you got the power up effect. Now that's using a transition. Um, and then stab on the main OS is a thrust and clash. So here's stab. So you'll see that wipe in and then that fade out. And then on lock up now, there's going to be a transition. So there'll be a full flash, localized lock up, and then when I release it, there'll be a cooldown effect. So there's the localize, and then the cooldown, and again, when I hit it, flash, localized, and then a cooldown. And then drag has a similar. So there's a flash, and then it fades out. So instead of just disappearing. And then there's a cooldown on retraction. Oops, I hit that twice. So that was the cooldown effect. And then since this style does not have color change defined in it, uh, you have access to the color wheel, which is default to OS 3.3. Um, so to access that, you're going to hit the aux button and power. And then all you do is rotate your hilt, and you can go through all of the colors. And it's uh, if you turn really slowly, you can get really fine-tuned. If you turn quickly, it'll go obviously a lot faster, but you can go through the full spectrum of colors and you don't have to define it in your style to do so. So you can go forward and backward, and then when you get to the color you like, let's get to a nice dark green, you lock it in with the power button, and then again it's got all of the effects built in, so it's got the stab. So it's washing out a little. This green's pretty bright. And then we get the localized lockup. And then, of course, the cooldown effect and the power up effect. So that's all available. So this is, uh, this is called the color wheel style. Um, and what it is is it's going to use that default color wheel functionality so that you won't see the colors listed in the preset. Um, it just gives you access to that. If you define colors, uh, color change within your preset, you don't have access to that color wheel. So um, it's kind of two different options with the OS 3.3.